Hello, my Brood War brothers. Welcome back to another replay cast here from the ladder. This was played on March 21st of 2024. And we've got Hero here in the top right hand corner versus Sharp in the bottom right. You know how much I love this man. I've got him as my favorite for this season of the ASL, although it is a long shot. When I met him, he really seemed serious. I'm sure they all seem serious when they talk about winning ASL, but to me, he had that confidence. And what we saw from the ASL wildcard was convincing, very convincing to me that this guy has what it takes to take down a season of ASL. It just needs to be the right situation. And well, one of the, the players that he might have to go through in order to get to that ASL title could be Hero. We'll see how he's matching up against Hero today. I'm going to be following this guy's journey all through the ASL qualifiers. So I might as well take a look at some of his ladder games as well. Just see what kind of plans he's putting together for these different maps. He is on a barcode account. So definitely practicing hard, grinding hard. Hero has no idea who he's playing against right now. So Sharp can do whatever he wants. And it's going to be hidden information that maybe he can use later against Hero in the future. And Hero's not going to know that this was Sharp most likely. I don't know if he goes back and looks at all of his games and checks the IDs on Seawall.gg. If he even knows about Seawall.gg. I'm sure that Koreans must have caught on to it by now. But there may be some asymmetrical information that uh, Sharp may have in the future against hero we'll just see we'll just have to wait and see here sharp moving out with a single marine I'm gonna go ahead and put on a little bit of pressure make sure that hero is playing honestly here make sure that he's gonna build a ling or two you have to build at least two but i mean one or two pairs here there's that first pair gonna be started there's the second pair so this is all that sharp really wants out of this play i think he just wants to make sure that that uh, the Zerg player is being honest. And look at this. He's just going to turn around here. He hasn't even seen that the Lings are out yet. But he is going to turn back around. He sees the Lings popping now. He hasn't seen the ones here in the natural. But ooh, got to be careful. Don't lose this SCV too quickly here. And the Lings are going to try and wrap around. Try to catch that. He sees four Lings now. So he knows that hero is being honest right now he's got the right number of links to deal with this oh he picked off the scv i didn't see that didn't catch that on screen but one of these guys has that kill good job by hero getting rid of that scv really really quick getting rid of that vital source of information for sharp already is quite the pain here for our terran he's going to be going into an ebay right off the bat and he was pressuring that uh, the overlord here over this cliff. And one part about Blitz Y is it's not really possible to get your overlord into a position where you can see the barracks production and what's going on here in the natural safely. So he's not really going to know whether it's a two racks or a one racks with the early upgrade here. And I'm going to use that to our advantage. Sharp here. Gonna sit back in this wall. The force maybe a reaction of hero by moving out with the first medic that pops. That first medic pops, he'll probably try to gun down a couple of these lings uh, and just make it look like it was a two racks, but it's not a two racks. He's not gonna push across the map here. He's already trying to pick off a ling or two if he can, but if he, for instance, starts to push out and forces a couple of sunkins out of hero, that would be a huge, huge win. Because that shouldn't be possible with the build that he's doing right now. And I think that Hero, with the information he's gleaned, being this close to the front, I think he will know well enough that this is not going to be that uh, two racks play. And here's five minutes. The five minute mark has passed. Is he going to be moving out? How many medics do we see? We only see one. And he's not really leaving the entrance. So no sunken colonies back at home. This is a very good play from Hero. Just understanding the game state without having the overlord over top of the natural. It's tough, but getting that information regardless here with those links and keeping an eye out for what Sharp is up to means that he's going to be able to get all seven, eight now of those mutilists out. 
uh, on the field as quickly as possible without any delay, uh, you know, having to produce sunken colonies. So here they come, the Mutalisk heading across the map right now on a collision course with the Terran base. We've got four racks placed in the ma main base. This is a very strong build right now. Very, very popular. Unfortunately, just blocking that racks from falling uh, down onto the ground for a moment. Should be able to land that now finally as the SCV finishes up the turret. That's a little bit of delay in the production time. Uh, however, with this four racks play, you're going to have a vast quantity of Marines to try and bully the Zerg player uh, off of the map with. It'll be up to Sharp to deal with this first uh, attack here. He's got eight meters. We're going to see a dive here. Coming through. Can one shot these SCVs. Sharp just going to completely ignore this and start to move out immediately. So he's going to go ahead and kill those links and just start to move across the map. He's losing a lot of SCVs over here, and it's not a very far retreat distance for Hero. So Hero's actually going to be able to follow the Marines immediately after they leave the natural. So I don't know how good this is for Sharp right now. Um, it doesn't feel very good for him right here. It looks like maybe one... I think we lost one Muta uh, to the turret, surprisingly. But I'm going to come back in now. With that full group of 11, start to harass this Bioforce out in the front. This is exactly what Sharp wants. He wants you to keep fighting his Marine Medic. Um, and he's kind of forcing that reaction out of Hero right now. He's forcing him to react in this way because if he just dives into the main base or the natural and starts to kill a bunch of SCVs, then Sharp is going to go straight across the map and there is an open base. So... You have to be very careful here as Hero, but at the same time, he's going to be transitioning while continuing to build Mutas, continuing to keep this uh, count high here. Ooh, diving on top there seemed a little risky. We ended up losing about three Mutas out of this stack for that dive and not able to overwhelm this Marine Medic uh, here in the middle. Pretty good control so far from Sharp, keeping that Bioforce alive. And as long as he keeps that alive and out on the map, it's going to remain a serious threat here to Hero, at least until he gets Lurkers out in both of these two locations. So once he's got Lurkers here and here, we'll see him start to dive in and pick off some more, um, so, some more SCVs in the main and natural. But until that moment, he still needs to dog these Marines. He still needs to fight this. And he's traded out quite a few of his Mutas. Uh, for not all of the medics, the medic group is still strong. So he's going to have to reproduce some of these, it looks like. Now building the Hydras, but can he hold him back long enough to get the uh, to get the lurkers actually out here? And a scan comes down the natural. He sees right as the egg is morphing. He knows how much time he has left to make his way over here. He's going to make a kind of a mad dash forward right now. This is the opportunity here for Hero. Big fights on these... Uh, Ramps right now. Ramp is a great place to take a fight because the the Marines will not be able to bunch up as easily as they're coming down the ramp in order to fight that efficiently. Big reinforcement wave coming across the map now. He's going to move northwards, actually towards that third base. We do have lurkers in both locations, though. And I think as we dive on top of this Marine medic group and pick that off, uh, the lurkers are going to get set up in high enough number that the marine medic force will no longer be a threat and these mutas can actually go across the map and start to deal that damage start to go over there and actually pick off some scvs and that type of thing well he's actually going to go ahead and jump on these marines and medics i'm a little bit surprised about that but he does want to remove this threat i suppose it's not the most easily defended base here in the top left you might be feeling a little worried about a bust up here because you can come in from this side you know if you get a, a big spread along here you can really gun down these lurkers pretty darn quick here as well you can run in behind the, min the mineral patches here and the lurkers can't actually attack so this is a difficult base to defend with just lurker uh so he is being very conservative keeping the mutas in the middle of the map chasing down the marine and medic making sure that they don't hit a critical mass where they can actually bust something uh, critical mass, excuse me. Uh, at least until he gets this Defiler tech out. This is just kind of the burden of Zerg on this map. It's a little bit difficult to hold and secure that top left base. And I've definitely experienced that myself a lot. 
I don't know if it's actually... It, maybe it's better to take this one. It might be better to take this one. You can hold it right here with Lurker. I don't know. I really don't know what's the best. Maybe build a base here and just build Sunkins like that. You do like a, a Sunken defense. Go to... Crazy Zerg, something like that? I don't know, guys. I'm really at a loss uh, in terms of like what is the best way to play Zerg on this map. I definitely think that Lurk or like Defiler Hydra play is probably uh, the going to be the way to go. Maybe even take this space. This space over here, if you put Sunken or Lurker right there, it can be really strong. I, I'm... I'm I'm not sure, guys. I'm really not sure about that. Both those other, both of these two bases are very close to the enemy. Makes it quite scary to try and hold on against any sort of bio push. This is the time right now where Terran players have the highest win rate uh, on ladder and in ASL. Right around this time when they lose that map control, when Terran takes the map control and they're trying to bust you at all different locations, it's very hard to hold on. And this map is just making it that much more difficult for a hero. And there should be a angle for Sharp to get in here somewhere, somehow, to put on that pressure. And meanwhile, back at home, he's going to be taking another base here. He may even decide to take a base down here. He may decide to land and start to build tanks over here as well. I don't know about land. Maybe you land over here. And just build up a tank count on this ridge line here. That might be a good idea as well. Um, once you've got tanks here. And you've got tanks here. The map gets very quickly split. Uh, in an unfavorable position for the, the Zerg player. There are still gas bases that they can take. But it becomes very hard. The movement is severely chopped off. Uh, in that sort of case. But we're not seeing tank transition yet and we're also seeing ultra here from hero which is a bit of a shock actually i'm surprised that we're going into ultra tank here on three bases that was not my first choice that would not be my expectation we're gonna go ahead and drop a dark storm here he's moving he's angling for a fourth base here fourth base on this high ground Looks to be what we're going for right now. But it's tough. It is tough to get up here and actually make that happen. He's going to run forward. Push everything back once again. Oh, the Marines here are getting trapped. A lot of these are going to go down. And a big plague on a lot of Marine uh, and Vessel. And wow. Hero taking a lot of control right now in this game. Is he even going to come up with his Mutas now? Start to fight with these marines. I think the mutas are going to be saved, though, for picking off some of these vessels that have been plagued. I think that would be the right choice right now. Kind of swooping around here, looking for those vessels. There they are. He sees them. Looks like he's going to go ahead and pick them off. All the vessels are going to go down right here right now. Looks like a bunch of marine and medic fell as well. The lings are getting more and more powerful. They're already at plus one. How are we doing on the marines? Plus two, plus one. So... A little bit uh, of a lead there in terms of the uh, attack upgrades. But we're about to even that out here as a Zerg. And being on even upgrades is not a good situation for the Terran. You'd much rather be ahead in those upgrades. But at least we're not behind. That is the ultimate terrible situation for a Terran player. Is when you're behind in the upgrades and Lurker start... Or when you're behind in the upgrades and... Ultralists start to pop out. That is when things get very, very scary. Now, moving here towards the center left, it looks like Hero is going to try to double expand right now and you know, take two bases at two different locations. If he can grab this area over here and hold this at the same time, he's basically secured his victory condition. This amount of gas is going to allow him to produce way too much Ultra for sharp to handle but if he tries to take another base and one of them ends up getting picked off then he can at least build off of four gases and still be okay waiting here on 
the speed upgrade for these ultras plus four armor is done so they are capable of fighting but you'd much rather have that speed upgrade finished before taking this first engagement the first engagement with the ultras is always the most important here he comes he's gonna jump on top of these bunkers oh the defiler gets picked off there just a moment too early here he's not gonna be able to throw down a dark storm on these bunkers but he will be able to pick them off no problem regardless a lot of marines here tucking themselves in a corner making themselves really difficult to fight uh, by these ultras big group of bio coming back here trying to gun down these ultras as quickly as they can a lot of scvs are going down in the meantime we're down to just 40 scvs here to the 50 scvs of hero another plague going down but it misses the science vessels the science vessel team here gonna be fine for now fourth gas is mining do actually need to get across this ramp maybe put some pressure on a, one of these bases sharp here can't just be sitting back making marine medic forever uh, against just mass ultra coming out on four gas and hope to take a win he's only on three bases right now he doesn't have any tank production whatsoever another big plague is going to come down here i think He's looking for that big plague. There it is. A big plague here on a lot of these marine medics. Surprised he didn't go after the vessels, but he did manage to pick off one of them with the scourge during that chaos. Radiates coming down on all of these ultras and defilers as they try to push forward. They will be pushed away. And Sharp, Sharp will buy himself a little bit of time, buy himself a little bit of space here on the map by picking off the defilers that were coming. He's going to give himself some room to maneuver here. But Hero is going to be slowly cutting off that blood supply as he takes the center left of the map. Going to take that base right now as he pushes forward here and again another defiler being picked off, but it's at the cost of another science vessel. That's what being in such a defensive position will cost you. If Sharp is out on the map right now, if he's, you know, out here, he can easily move over and throw down irradiates on defilers that are moving through the map and retreat back to his Marine Medic clump. But when he's sitting back here, he has to send out vessels uh, into no man's land in order to pick off these defilers. Uh, and that's going to cost him a lot. He's going to keep losing those vessels, so he needs to start to move out here. And he does try to move out, but big plague hits a lot of these marine medics. I got to say, Hero, really impressive with the way that he maneuvers his defilers. The way that he's always got a defiler with every army, ready to cast the abilities at the opportune time. Getting those great plagues all the time on these units. Oh gosh, a lot of these have already been plagued and they're having a really hard time retreating. A lot of them can't even stim right here. I'm gonna go ahead and hold position these ultralists a little ways away from each other so that they can not deal that splash damage from the irradiate. But I think the writing's on the wall right now for Sharp. Sharp is running out of options here in this game he's got so many barracks pumping out a ton a ton of marines but i don't even see a single battle cruiser even though we have the physics lab no battle cruisers have been made i don't see a third star port either although it is on three gas these are some small mistakes you can see a thousand uh, gas in the bank that could have been used on multiple battle cruisers uh, had we built an extra starport during uh, this game just a trickle of battle cruisers coming across the map can really put the hurt onto a zerg it forces them to build a lot of things that they don't want to build including scourge and here we go a huge round of scourge going to be catching a bunch of these vessels and the ultras are falling upon the marine medic army let's take a look at their health looks like they're gonna back away this little doodad here actually making a huge difference in that fight it was blocking the ultras for quite some time and the marines were getting a lot of free dps there just a lot of free shots 
on those ultras during that time gonna come up here onto this high ground pick off the lurker and start to push in here on this fifth base it's so critical that he prevents this fifth base from mining and it's already mining right now with gas the gas is already mining but he's only mined about 200 of that gas oh man that plague oh oh ho, 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 ho. the plague of all plagues man what a nasty nasty play goo to finish this game off yeah what can I say about this one, guys? Um, a little bit, uh, a little bit sad for Sharp here. This is such a hard map for Zerg. Uh, in my experience, I don't know if you guys feel any different, but for me, this is a tough, tough map. Holding this base or this base as your third is really difficult. And here it did a great job of fighting back the four barracks Marines with just the bare minimum number of mutas and getting the lurkers out in time and just keep keeping the mutas active on the map pushing back the marine medic really really impressive stuff from him and then the defiler control so nasty wasn't expecting him to go ultra here I was expecting a hydralis defiler game but there it is it still worked out very nicely for hero even though he was building you know, Defilers, he was still able to get those into those Ultras in pretty good time. Have the upgrades uh, necessary to hit a nice timing. Really, really good stuff, right? As he came across the map with his Ultras. It's hard enough to hit the timing if you're going crazy, Zerg. To have plus two armor, carapace speed, everything ready for the Ultras uh, at about that timing. But he even had Defilers mixed in and he'd gone for quite a few Lurkers. He didn't go for a huge amount of Lurkers, though. And that was probably why he was able to get into that many ultras with all the upgrades because he wasn't pressured really heavily at either of these two locations. Sharp being a little bit passive in this game, sitting back uh, quite a bit of the time, not going for drops to try and pull Hero apart or anything like that. Never harassed the top left-hand corner area. Didn't build that second starport, or that third starport, excuse me, uh, for the Battle Cruiser production despite having that physics lab little bit of a rough game here for hero but or for for sharp but hero showing us his macro prowess man 55 workers for most of this game he had such an income here with these extra bases coming online able to produce a nasty nasty amount of uh, ultras and defilers and you can just see look at this look at how low his money is here 200 200 with five bases producing uh, non-stop. Able to keep his money very low. And unfortunately, without that extra uh, starport or even a tank transition. I, I was expecting maybe we'd drop a bunch of factories up here. You know, two, three factories. And start building a whole ton of tanks. This is a very choked up map. If you can get a bunch of tanks up here. And a bunch of tanks here, like I was saying before. It becomes really hard for the Zerg player to maneuver anywhere. And you can very easily take this base and just kind of turtle up your side of the map and make it very hard for the Zerg to even approach you. But it seems like Sharp was just maybe a little bit off his game here today. Regardless, an excellent showing here from Hero. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.